Well, they've gone up. And the umpire is not interested. Safra's Amini is very interested. He is showing the ball, saying yes, a quarter, but it's more about the point. Did he hit it or was it glove? Keep that going through, please. Keep it going through for the catch. Keep it going through for the catch. Okay, the catch has been taken cleanly. You can load on the big screen. The decision is out. Please. Well, Pakistan strike late in the evening. The centurion from the first test match, Usman Khawaja, on his way. Right, watchman Peter Siddle joins Aaron Finch out in the middle, and once again, Muhammad Abbas gets the breakthrough. Last ball of the day. Ah! Oh, it's close. Oh, that's very close indeed. S. Ravi says not out, but I wonder if this will be referred. Yes, they are going to refer it, and with the naked eye, that looked very, very close. Rick. Uh, going to go back to Ravi. Ravi, I've got pitching outside off, impact in line, and hitting the wickets. Now she's changed your decision. You're on camera now. So Pakistan will finish on a high. Australia will go to stumps at 20 for two. A good referral by the Pakistan captain. Mohammad Abbas picks up his second wicket. The night watchman, Peter Siddle, he will have to go for four. You'd have to say, well, it's a pretty even day in the end. 12 wickets on the opening day in Abu Dhabi. That's the first time that's ever happened. You're used to seeing big first inning scores. Ah! Edge ah! taken. Beautifully bowled. That little angle going across the left-hander. And Abbas is on fire. He's picked up three so far. But that is a big wicket. And Sean Marsh on his way. Wonderful catch taken by Haris Suhail in first left. Beautiful delivery, great length, easy, no problem at all. Pakistan wanted a start, a good start, and this man, Abbas, giving Pakistan a breakthrough once again. 36 for three. Sean Marsh, gone for three. Edge and take her, that's great bowling. That really is top quality stuff. Still can't believe it, but Abbas is unstoppable. What a bowler he's turned out to be. Well, once again, just hitting that hard length. The ball just straightening a fraction from around the wicket. And a very good catch. That flew to second slip and well taken. And I love that celebration. He's very passionate. And he's doing a great job for his country. The fourth wicket goes down for the Australians. And they're in all sorts of strife. Four for 56. Travis Head goes... 14. Oh, this time the Yorker. Big appeal for LBW. Was there some bat involved there? S. Ravi's unmoved. Well, I think Surfraz is asking him, did it hit the the toe first? Or, uh, they're not sure, but they're going Rick, for it because a it's the last wicket. review for LBW. The original decision is not out. There's a spike there, but the bat's nowhere near it. Keep going through. Okay, uh, gents, we're waiting for ball track in here. Uh, Ravi, I've got pitching in line, impact in line, wickets is hitting. Ask you to change your decision. Stand by, you're on camera now. So finally we get there. Australia are all out for 145. Mohammed Abbas gets a five wicket haul. Wonderful performance from him. And just as you talk about it, he gets an outside edge. It was the faintest of outside edges through to the keeper. And that man again, Muhammad Abbas, creates the pressure and gets the breakthrough. Once again, a lovely delivery. And uh, Trevor's head couldn't help himself. Pushed at it. A little bit wider on that occasion, Abbas. And just a tiny edge. Yeah, looking to drive, you can hear it. And uh, that's Rizwan's first catch in the Test Match cricket. And the boss once again 
giving an early breakthrough in the fifth, fourth day of the test match. Second wicket gone. Australia 71 and Trevor's head batted quite nicely, only scored 36. That's close on the back leg. It's missed the bat. It might have been high. He's deadly accurate. I think it might have been high, but he's hit the seam once again. So a discussion taking place, and they're going to go upstairs. I'm going to go back. Illy pitching outside off, impact in line. Wickets is hitting. I'm going to ask you to change your decision. You're on camera now. So overturned, Richard Ellingworth. The height was always going to be questionable, but as you could see on the replay, it canned in the back leg. It was the seam and the accuracy from Muhammad Abbas, just nipping back. Marsh has got to go, and Australia lose their third wicket. Raise. This is brilliant piece of bowling from Abbas. He's unstoppable, brilliant, a genius at bowling on dead pitches. Oh wow, what bowling! Finch forced back into his crease because of the keeper up the stumps. Great tactics, great bowling, and this is just phenomenal performance from that man on screen, Mohammad Abbas. This is a pretty good batting service, and he's still getting something out of it. The end of Aaron Finch. He's made 31. The score now four for 78. Oh, oh ball in. Beautifully done. Leaving the ball, that one came and shattered the stumps. It's timber time for a bus. And what about this celebration? That is just phenomenal. Phenomenal bowling. Error of judgment, the ball did come back off the seam, but it was far too close to the off stump to be leaving. Yeah, that's just a that's a mental error there from Tim Payne, the Australian captain, and what a celebration and what a bowler. This is phenomenal stuff. Gone for not Australian captain, five down Australia, 78 on the board. Abbas is nine wickets in the game. Oh, short chance is it and given yes Labashain has to go 10 wickets in the match for Muhammad Abbas it's like he's thinking about reviewing yes he is going to review the decision so let's have a listen to the third umpire okay just take that back one frame please okay I'm gonna go back to Richard on field freeze that there thank you Illy, we have a spike as the ball is on the bat. You can save your original decision. You're on camera now. Yeah, confirmation of the decision. Richard Illingworth making the correct decision initially. And Marbus, Manus Labashain has to make his way back to the pavilion. And another five-wicket haul for Muhammad Abbas. What a series he's had. It's a surprise delivery. The short one on this occasion. Labashain goes for 43. Australia. 155 for 8.